the inbox, I've got to say, today. A a on the back of yesterday and uh, the Ports of Auckland stuff and David Shearer, the inbox has been chocker. Ports of Auckland, number one today. Well, I don't think there is any doubt that the union on the waterfront made a big mistake, a huge mistake. They are playing for the public sympathy card now, crying that they have been hard done by. This isn't the case. I'm sorry. But the negotiation details that I have seen don't support the union's argument, period. By any standards, the Ports of Auckland offer of employment was fair and reasonable. The union rejected nine times the chance to employ those 300 who are now out of a job. They messed up and now they're trying to cover their collective backsides. Ports of Auckland number two, Gary Parslow, the union guy, says that the ports will have difficulty in recruiting new workers. He says, and I quote, they have kicked us out the door, competent, qualified, trained up workforce that Tony Gibson, he's the chief executive, thinks are going to all run in there and work for half the money. Well, two things. The half the money claim is just patently absurd. Come on. And yes, the wise ones who haven't been indoctrinated by the union will apply for jobs. Wait and see. Ports of Auckland number three. Auckland Mayor Len Brown is coming under intense pressure from his union supporters. Should I say former supporters because they most certainly are not behind Mr Brown now. Brown's CTU mate Helen Kelly said this morning that Brown has, and I quote, had his time to get his shit together on this and he's let us down. Parslow said Brown had an absolutely disgusting attitude in this and the people of Auckland won't forget this. So there's also a rational stuff coming from the Greens and the Labour Party. Labour is keen to support their brothers in arms. Uh, they both reckon that Brown should get involved but overlook the fact that legislation prevents this. Make no mistake, Mr Brown, I think, would like to get involved. He knows the left will desert him. Ports of Auckland number four. I've had a lot of feedback, as I said at the outset, a lot of feedback on the interview with the Labour Party leader, David Shearer. Just a bit of background to this. Mr Shearer put out a press release yesterday, effectively backing the union, and that's why we got him on the program. So he comes on the program, and he clearly wasn't abreast of the facts. He didn't have a clue about it, frankly. The feedback was not kind to Mr Shearer. Not kind at all. I've thought a lot about this, and I can only come to one conclusion. David Shearer won't last as leader of the Labour Party. I think he's a good guy. Uh, I like David Shearer. I think he's a good guy uh, with his heart in the right place. But as a future Prime Minister, I just can't see this happening. Ports of Auckland 5. Well, the Maritime Union today say it will take legal action over the unlawful dismissal of nearly 300 workers. Oh, please, do us a favour. This is really stupid. Come on. The union has become a collection of bumper sticker slogans rather than having a legal leg to stand on. As the chairman told me yesterday, the chairman told me yesterday on this program, the union is out of there. It's over.